Hi guys, this is Ashwin here and uh, I've been making some tutorials on how to install uh, beta ICS ROMs onto uh, the Galaxy Note and uh, people have been asking me how to go back to gingerbread from ICS or ice cream sandwich so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get back to uh, any gingerbread ROM from ice cream sandwich so just to show you what I'm running right now currently I'm running mid note 2.0 and uh, Android version 4.0.3 so that's ice cream sandwich so uh, first thing you need to do is download link uh, download the kernel file from link 1 and uh, transfer it onto your to the root folder uh, of your galaxy node and uh, any ROM that you want uh, rocket ROM or uh, check ROM or ducky ROM or anything that you want and transfer that onto the what do you say uh, root folder of your of your phone as well and in case you already have an Android backup that's fine so what you need to do now is press the volume key the power button and the home button and hold you might end up taking a, a screenshot forget about it just keep holding it and the moment you see Samsung Galaxy Note displayed let it go so now we're going to reboot back into recovery. So under recovery what you do is uh, you go into install zip from SD card. Select that and select choose zip from SD card. And now navigate and select abyss node kernel. And go down and select yes install. So give it a few seconds, it should be done, okay. Now go back and uh, go into advanced and select reboot recovery. And now we just need to wait. Okay guys, the next thing you do over here is go into wipe menu and you go ahead and wipe data slash factory reset so that will take a few seconds that's done, now wipe cache now wipe Dalvik cache now go back install menu choose zip from external SD card now before you do this if you want to you could go into uh, what do you say uh, backup and restore and you can restore any of your Android backups but though I want to do it I'm not doing that right now because uh, I'm gonna be reviewing a ROM and that's what I want to install so install from external SD card and I'm gonna my next review would be Cassie's extra light ROM so that's what I'm gonna select and I'm gonna install it so this should take you a few minutes so I'll be right back with you guys once this installation is done okay guys the installation is done it says install from SD card complete so now go back again go to the reboot menu and hit reboot system so guys anybody who's been flashing ROMs would know but if in case you don't the first time a ROM loads up it will take a little bit of time so be patient give it you know even up to five minutes if needed and the ROM will load so the ROM is up so let's just load it so let me just take a quick moment sign in and I'll be okay let me just let me just skip it right now if I'll sign in later so here we are let me go to settings about phone okay gingerbread I'm back that's Cassie's extra light ROM Android version 
that's gingerbread so that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys uh, if you have any kind of uh, questions or queries leave it in the comment section or shoot out an email uh, my twitter facebook and uh, email addresses are all in the description uh, if it's something technical you want answers to something uh, i'd suggest you actually send me an email rather than leave it in the comment section because it's easier for me to get back to you and yeah the question of why i have this in the background is because I'm not going to be making any more video tutorials for the next two, three days till I'm done with this game. So uh, I just wanted to let you guys know. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, before you go, hit the subscribe button, uh, the like button. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys have a great day. It's game time, love.